Yeah, it's been a decent amount of time since I last did a Q&A, a question and answer. And I was like, I need to get these Q&As up and running again, especially considering we have more followers and subscribers than we did prior. And we got people from Twitch, we got people from IG, we got people from YouTube. So I'm like, yo, let's just do this. First things first, obviously the Patreons are gonna guarantee get their question in. First one, Kayla, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? It would either be here in San Antonio, in Austin, or in Chicago. Next up, Daniel, breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Breakfast always, bruh, and it's always gonna be French toast. Jacob Moore, what's been my favorite Patreon request so far? Honestly, don't even know. I've done so many at this point that I couldn't even narrow it down. Obviously, finding Andy Minio on a Patreon request is dope. Couple of NF tracks there were dope as well. Well, a couple of the rock tracks, Star Set was actually, it's pretty dope. It's, it's hard for me to narrow it down, but I would say those are the three that stick in my mind, like just right off the top. Next, the right Twix. Do you have a song that you relate to enough to the point where you feel like you could have wrote it? I have two, Personality by Lil Dicky and T-Pain and Jaded by, by Drake. Kelly, 30 Seconds to Mars, Moderator, Discord, everything. This girl been around the channel for a minute. I appreciate you. Now that concerts are coming back, do you think you'll make any vlogs about going to shows or festivals or you said bands, festivals, you want to check out. I definitely want to check out an NF concert. I definitely want to go to the weekend. I definitely want to go to EDC. I want to go to South by Southwest again, and I want to go to 21 Pilots concert. Those are the only ones that I have in my mind right now that I definitely want to do. Sam Hoinghouse, Gun to Head, Favorite Spur. Obviously, Tim Duncan's going to be up there, but if we're just talking about like love, it's Manu Ginobili. Probably be between him, Sean Elliott, and the other one was Boris Diaw. Next, Andrew, a long time supporter on Patreon, a big supporter over on Twitch. Y'all probably, if you're on Twitch, you probably got gifted stuff from this dude at one point. Do you find bass, dubstep, trap, electronic house, dance, or techno most compelling to transport you to a happy place? Most definitely house. It's, it's just like the perfect chill tempo. It's not too crazy, like intense, like trance, and it's not too like hyped up, like dubstep. It's just like, it's just got a little nice little groove to it. Next, Ricardo Gomez, which artist or band that you reacted to this month surprised you the most? Let me go to my this month's videos, hold up. To be honest, it's a video that's not even out yet, but it's probably Sunreal Parachute. I have it uploaded, I just uploaded it this week, but it's not available to the public yet. I'll probably make that available on Patreon today. And lastly, for Patreon, we got Dustin Jenkins. Jenkins, how do you feel about the choices in your life that led you to where you are today? Uh, I feel good about it, but like it's also a lot of pressure because leaving everything to do this YouTube thing is dope, but there's a lot of pressure, especially considering the type of videos that I make don't make money. And we're still slowly seeing the Patreon, like patronage start to dip. So if it doesn't work out, what am I gonna do next? But I'm not, I'm not upset or I'm not like, I'm not regretful about the step that I took, you know? Everybody who's on Patreon that got a question in, I appreciate y'all. Anybody out there on Patreon that, or that wants to join on Patreon and get early access to things, consider joining first link in the description. Moving on. If someone's argument for how good a food place is hinges on but their dipping sauce, is the food actually good? We're clearly talking about Cane's and no. I can do without Cane's no matter how good their dipping sauce is. Uh, it's, it's all hype to me. Lucky, how do you feel about the progress you've made so far in the influencer life? I wish the progress would come faster and I wish the money would come easier so I don't have to rely on people's donations so much. So other than that, I feel like we're doing all right. We made it eight months so far. That's that's more than a lot of people thought we were gonna get, so that's cool. If you could listen to one song for the first time again, which one would it be? Hurt Me Soul by Lupe Fiasco. How did the pandemic hit you mentally and what did you do to make it better? I'm not really an extrovert as, like, as much as you would think that I am on YouTube. So the pandemic really wasn't a big, like, a big deal to me because I like staying inside. What I do now, especially on YouTube, like, I'm inside all the time. I'm at this computer. So it really didn't do too much me for me mentally. Dev the ambivert. Are you willing to rap in Spanish and English in the future? I do not speak Spanish, unfortunately. So I could only do one. One love to you. You're getting busy. I appreciate you though, my guy. Real me vow. I guess it's how it's pronounced. Where would you place NF on your rapper list and why? He would not make my top 25. I, I made a whole video on this. On uh, it's on it's on Patreon right now on why why rap doesn't accept what doesn't accept nf to me his rapping is not it's not it's not good enough on the technical side to make my top 25 there's so many more rappers because of the knowledge that i have in rap it, it just he just won't make it he's good he's, he's definitely good at what he does but he makes very niche 
a niche rap for a niche audience. It's not something that's gonna make my greatest of all time list. Who is the most underrated artist today and why? Kyle, it's gonna be West Side Boogie because his rhymes, his voice, his, his beat, his delivery, his cadences, his, his his wordplay is all immaculate, immaculate. His storytelling capability, the toxicness that he can write with, but also the broken hard nature that he can write with, crazy. Galaxy, who's your favorite Twitch streamer besides me? Me, that's my favorite Twitch streamer. Next, what is John Bellion best at? Singing, rapping, producing, or writing? Producing and writing. For sure, this is why the man has made some of the biggest singles that the world has ever heard. Connor, how do you explain your way of life to the other, to the older members in your family? Like when someone you just met asked, I just don't be explaining it at all because most older people won't get it. I tell them that I make commentary and reviews because that's what they know. Like if I say that I'm, I'm a content creator, they're not gonna understand what that means. Next, how are you? Just checking in. I went through with something a couple months back, just wanted to check in. You know, we're doing better. It's day by day, but we're definitely doing better. Thank Thank you for asking. Eduardo Perez, favorite YouTuber. It's actually not an individual YouTuber. Actually, it's Sean C is one of my favorites right now, but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be the Corridor Crew. And they're they're like a, they're a visual artist like collective, I guess you could say. Cassandra Ariano, my cousin. What's funnier than 24? 25. Patrick, I thought of something funnier than 24. Let me hear it. 25. <laughs> Carlos favorite Jaden album it's probably going to be uh it's probably going to be Sire and the cool and the Sunset mixtapes. Angel if you weren't doing YouTube what would you be doing for work? I'd be a financial advisor helping people manage their finances and manage their retirements and long-term accounts. Christian Slider favorite 21 Pilots album or song? Favorite album is Trench, favorite song is Chlorine. DRI Music favorite essay Mexican food spot. Taqueria Mexico, Don Pedro's, or George's Mexican restaurant. And that's it for the Twitter ones. I apologize if I miss some. I'm trying to rapid fire these motherfuckers, you know? And lastly, let's move on to IG. These IG ones are always solid. Cuts my Daniel, my barber. Why did Drake never respond to Pusher T's diss? He didn't respond because that motherfucker checkmated him with, with the sun thing. Yeah, Drake says that he has some shit he could have put out that it would have gotten deeper than rap, but who, who actually knows? That's not what the score board says the scoreboard says that he lost rj green or red green shadow pastel what makes me happy that's a great question the community that i've built the people who monetarily support the channel and then us obviously fam and friends like first fam and second fam but other than that i honestly don't know pepperoni i know you're into electronic edm music my man what are your top five artists i don't think i could give you a top five right off the top of my head but just without a doubt for sure cascade and right now shipwreck those are my two top right now dream car jonathan mclaren p1 is that banica is that how that said your favorite rock band incubus without a doubt is that denby phoenix underscore rap would you ever look at youtube videos criticizing artists nf eminem etc of course i would everybody is up for criticism nobody's a perfect artist not eminem or nf if i wanted to criticize eminem it would be that he he's too technical with his rhyme schemes now and that's not something that everybody wants to listen to it's not an easy listen after you listen to it for the first time if i want to criticize nf it's that he does his rhyme skills are still needing to be are still needing to be honed he still makes bad decisions when writing reps there's there's times where his rhymes take me out of the take me out of the song because it's such a such a whack bar basically no one's perfect including those two no matter what the fan base might want you to think KMH Believe 620, favorite drawing utensils are gonna be uh, charcoal and then also uh, technical drafting pens. The Pretty Guardian, you watch other reaction YouTubers, I need recommendations. The only other two YouTubers that I watch that are reactors, one is gonna be Vibe Villa. That's the only one that I actually vibe with because I like, I literally like their vibe. And then the other one's not really a reactor, he's kind of a commentary and review person and that's Sean C. Just those two though, I really don't watch anybody else. Justin Breen, now that you're further down the road, would you still have have rejected that job in the corporate world of course i would have this is even if this fails even if this fails in three months six months i still would have rejected the job because it's a once in a lifetime top op type opportunity even now like i probably wouldn't go back to that job because i would need to find a job to hold me over if i can't if i can't continue this full time and i can't go back to a job that's going to require that i delete all the work that i've done so 
Yeah, I mean, 100%, I would do it all over again, even knowing that it wasn't gonna succeed. Parma Violet, if you could start a new channel with 1 million subs, what would your dream content be to make? It would be to vlog. That's what I started YouTube wanting to do. I still am passionate about making vlogs, even though they don't get as much views. That's what I started YouTube, and that's that's what got me into the hobby of making videos. Next up, Marshall Mathers LP versus Marshall Mathers LP2. Marshall Mathers LP1 by a long shot. I would listen to that over Marshall Mathers LP2. Next up, which celebrity fans do you think are the most toxic? Oh, get your thick skin on, ladies and gentlemen. Eminem, obviously the word Stan comes from his fan base. NF, because people think that he can't do any wrong, and if you have a different opinion, then you're wrong. And then also K-pop fans, by far the most toxic fan bases. Really, any fan base that is not willing to hear opposition or willing to hear a different side of an argument, that's gonna automatically make them toxic. Next up, what is in your wallet? <laughs> right now, what's in my wallet? Let's find out. We got no cash, apparently. <laughs> we got a driver's license. We got a license to carry, a handgun, two debit cards, and two credit cards. That's it, you don't need anything more than that. Cav, next up, what's up? I see you on IG and on stream, boy. What's your biggest regret? Not starting the YouTube channel sooner. Ingrid, describe yourself in three words. Hilarious, intelligent, sarcastic, boom. Next up, top three favorite drinks. If we're talking about alcohol, it's gonna be a Crown and Sprite. It's gonna be a uh, Old Fashioned or it's gonna be tequila shot straight up. Añejo or better. Next up, Luis, Andy or Lecrae. And this is not biased because I'm on the album cover, but Andy Minio because I like his his flow style a little more. Lecrae goes hard too though. It's, it's like you could honestly pick either one of those. Next up, favorite fiction book, probably Angels and Demons in the Da Vinci Code series. Next up, Houston over Dallas, yes. Next up after that, Yeezus or 808s, 808s and Heartbreak. Next up, what do you usually shoot on 18, which is golf? I normally shoot between a 91 and a 95 in that ballpark. Next up, favorite J. Cole song, 03 Adolescence. Next up after that, favorite weekend song, 28. Next up, can you come to Boston? I've actually been wanting to go to Boston, yo. I've been wanting to go. I'm a diehard baseball fan. I played baseball my entire life at an above average rate, I might add. But obviously it's a check off, it's a check off the the bucket list to go to Fenway. I've already been to New York. Now I need to go to Boston. I also, so I can look at the harbor and just be like, this is where they threw all the fucking tea? And then last question right here, because this is a doozy of a question. If poison expires, does it become more poisonous or less poisonous? Bruh, I don't know. Cause poison is like, is it, is it like a food? Is it like a is it like a perishable item to where like if it expires like milk, it gets nastier? But if it gets nastier, does that mean like the poison wears off because you need to administer the poison in a certain time frame? Or does it because now the poison spoiled so it like doubled down on how toxic it is? Shit, if poison expires, does it get more or less toxic? That's a conundrum, yo. Uh, I would want to say it gets more toxic because I'm assuming it's a perishable item. Like I'm assuming it goes bad eventually. You know what I'm saying? If it's a liquid form. But if it's in pill form, like cyanide or something, pills, they have an expiration date on them. And I think that's because the ingredients start to start to go bad. So like, does it does it like interact with UV light and then the UV light breaks down the poison like tattoos? I want to say if it's liquid, it gets more poisonous. If it's solid, it gets less. That's my two cents on it. I appreciate it. If I didn't get to your question, my bad. If you asked a question about reaction, I didn't get to them because that's not what I wanted to answer. I didn't get to any questions about this artist versus this artist too much because those could be individual videos. And then there's just obviously some that I just completely missed because I had like 200 questions. But I appreciate everybody that joined in either on Patreon. If you want to hit up the Patreon to guarantee get a question answered or see new content or early release content, check out the Patreon. Also support on Twitch if you would rather watch the live streams. We are, we are now doing tier list Tuesdays on Twitch where we rank different things and we're doing new music Fridays on Twitch al along with all the video game shit in between. So super excited about what's happening on Twitch. Follow that second link in the description. Everybody, I appreciate it if you got it this far, but that brings us to the end of this Q&A. Like I always say at the end, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.